Look come, look one, look all. Which team are the best and not better than the rest? And if I hear team beat your chest, it's a schoolboy football. A team could rise and a team could fall. But they never will know until the whistle blows around. Come and join the show. It's a that they suffer to the hands of St. Jago, and this is the team that they put out to do it. Yep, as we take a look at uh, the Wilmers outfit, Ron Melford is between the sticks. It's a 3-4-3 formation, the defenders being DeAndre Reed, Benjamin Griffiths, and Jay Shorn Hamilton, the number 12 in the middle of the park. Daquan Duaney on the left, Demetri Jackson on the right. Duaney, of course, with five goals so far, but as well as seven assists. Dante Dakers, Nathaniel Brooks in the middle of the park, and up top, Adon Day on the left with 12 goals. Jaden Walters through the middle with 11 goals, and Jaheem Besenti uh, with uh, one goal to his name yeah of course the man to look out for me is nathaniel brooks such a good season so far carrying on from last and yeah classic 3-4-3 from their coach jerome Waite. brooks with nine goals and 13 assists to his name as well as we take a look to San Diego and how they will line up. They have a traditional 4-4-2 formation with Murray between the six. Hall, uh, Tahir Beckford, Trey Malik Smith and Williams, the back four. Uh, J.D. Mitchell, Javar Harris with seven goals to his name. Uh, Jane Jones and Javoy right in the middle of the park. As we take a look at the, the full-time highlights of this one, San Diego with a lot of the running. In the opening few minutes, Lucane with the effort on target. Good save that was by Melford. And then this delivery sent inside. And uh, Melford had a lot of work to do, but then this kick. Ridiculously good by Leighton Murray. Yep, the St. Jago custodian is the one who came up with this miracle moment in the 32nd minute and uh, St. Jago with the lead and then he came up big for them at the back as well intercepting that one almost kept on pressing kept on trying day in particular that was the strongest effort from him and Murray was having fun between the sticks both inside one of an opportunity this was and then the flag eventually went up for offside, I believe. It uh, went up against their number 17, Raheem Anderson. And then Day to Walters. Back to Day. What a finish. His 13th goal this season. And both Day and Walters in the thick of the action in the attacking third. And it's... Uh, that combination once again proving to be a handful they really do work hard for this Wilmers team and that was equalizer Wilmers had a couple of chances to win it lovely ball inside from Dacus today and then day again almost doing it by himself and then Dimitri Jackson's effort forcing a stop from Murray St. Jane could have won it late Lucane's effort was lukewarm to say the least and we ended at one apiece as we take a look at the statistics at the end of this one Wilmers with 13 shots three of which were on target St. Jago hired all of 16 shots, six were on target, 18 fouls committed in this game, and there were eight corner kicks apiece, pretty even. Also pretty even, the possession, 50-50. With the KFC big deal, man of the match, his name is Leighton Moore, congratulations. Well, you are pretty much a big deal. We don't oftentimes see goalkeepers taking free kicks, but you said that this, is, this isn't your first occasion. No. Okay, well, St. Jager High ending with a goal apiece. How do you feel about today's matchup? Yeah, I, feel, I feel very good. I don't think my team played bad. We played a fairly good game, but what I expect from a team, 
I expect better because I know what the guys can do. Me, myself, I know what I can do. So I expected better from the team. I expected a win. But going into the second round, you're going to face tougher opponents. Do you think that you will face the challenge of taking any more free kicks in the future? Yes, miss. Definitely. Okay, okay well, congratulations, Leighton, and all the best for the season. Okay, thank you. Now we welcome the coach of St. Jago High, Coach Wolf. St. Jago High had a very good first half, especially after the goal, but in the second half, you struggled a bit. What do you think might have went wrong? Um, I thought the players lack focus a bit. Um, they were rushing the game as well. They wanted the game to finish when the game just started. So I thought we were just rushing it, and we, we need to just have more patience. We lack patience and put us in the ball. Yeah. Well, your goalkeeper, he, he was the one that scored the free kick. Do you think that you can look at him as your new dead ball specialist? Um, to be honest, he's been, he been practicing all week. Um, we know what Jed can do. We know that he has a free kick. And it's just more better things to expect from San Diego and the goalkeeper as well in terms of free kicks. Well, coach, are you disappointed not finishing at the top of the table and knowing that you may have tougher opponents to face in the future? Um, a bit disappointed on the results um, because we, we wanted a win. But whatever opponent comes along, at some point, some point in time we have to face tough opponents. So we just have to deal with whosoever we get or whosoever comes. Well, on a lighter note, what are the positives that you can take away from today's game? Um, first and foremost, they did well with the platform. Um, no better, plat plat better platform to showcase the talent. I thought we did well on that. That's positive going forward to the bigger stages. And it's only going to get bigger and better for Jago. And I'm proud of the boys today. They did, they did well. OK, well, well done, coach. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. And now we welcome the coach of Woodman's Boys. His name is Jerome Waite. Coach, even though the scoreline is a goal apiece, do you think that being at the top of the group and having a superior goal difference made your boys have a relaxed mindset coming into today's game? Uh, not necessarily. I think Jago came here. They, they, they came to a purpose. They, they fought well. Uh, I think the difference was the goalkeeper who earned that man of the match. And not only to score the goal, but in the end to, to defend well to ensure that, you know, they didn't give up more than one goal. But the Wolmers team, um, we show character, we show determination, you know, so to fight, to fight back from that one goal deficit and to get the, the, the equaliser is good. Well, coach, the game and your team especially picked up momentum in the 60th minute. Going into the second round, how do you get 100% from your boys from minute one? Well, you talk about 100%, but what we'll have to focus on now is the areas that we still have to work on. And even before so, we have our fair share of injuries. And that is something that we will have to take the time out to deal with, you know, to ensure that the team can go as far as possible. Well, thank you, coach. All right.